Or to reset your Unify access point. So if you have issue with connecting to the internet, you need to reset your Unify access point. Now first we need to remove this unit. And here you will locate the reset button. It's right here. So you want to push into the pin and reset it. At the moment, you can see the light is blue. Once you press onto into the button, the white should go to white. Here you push the pin into the hole and hold it for 10 seconds and wait for the light to go into white. Now you can see the white, the, the light changes color. After it goes to white, you can let go of the pin and then you can put your access point back onto the ceiling. Okay, once it's back on the ceiling, you should see the white. The light is white. Next, we go down to your Wi-Fi router and we'll unplug the power over Ethernet. So here, I'm going to turn off this switch. Okay, so we switch it off. Now wait until the lights go off. So wait for around few minutes, maybe two or three minutes. At this point, you want to also disconnect all your network cable. Now the main purpose of this video is that we want to fix the issue with not being able to connect to the internet using the Unify. That is why we need to disconnect all this network cable as well. Okay, after a few minutes, let's plug the cables back in. Now make sure the Cable goes into the right port, LAN, go to the Wi-Fi, and power over Ethernet, go to your Unify access point. And then we switch on the power. Okay, so that's on now. Now, if you still have issues with your Unify access point, you may need to reset your power supply here. So in here, there is a reset button at the back. So just press and hold until the button. Okay, so I've got a pin in here. I press and hold and wait until the light start to flashes. So push and hold on the pin. Once you get in an indication that the adapter has been reset, you can let go of the pin.